Welcome everybody, this is Ingrid Dinta from IngridDinta.com and I have something very exciting to share with you today. See, last weekend I was at a conference where I introduced the participants to a quiz that I have created to help solopreneurs, people with a healing business or a coaching business, understand where they're stuck and what they can do to change that. And I actually have this quiz right here. I'm very excited about it um, because what I found was as I was running it by all these people that it could actually help me get a very specific profile of who they are as a person and who they are as an entrepreneur. And by filling out this quiz with four simple questions and then different answers to each question, they could actually show me what is important to them in their life, how they relate to money and business how they relate to learning things that are important to them, and what they can actually do to bring their business together as a whole in a way that works for them. See, no two business owners are created equal. And we've all heard that business is for making money and, you know, it's not about having fun or it's not about helping other people. But at the end of the day, people in our field, in the healing and coaching field, we really want more from business and money. We really do, and we want more for our clients as well. So understanding who you are and what success means to you in your life is going to be a life changer for you. So let me just show you for one second really quick how this works. So here is this quiz um, that I actually have downloaded for you. Um, so you can get this right from this website when you put your name and email address down below in that field. And um, when you open the quiz up, when you look at page number two, page number one are the instructions, you see some very simple questions. First one is your definition of success. And the second one is your relationship with charging money. The third one is your biggest fear. And your fourth one is, what do you do? And this is important. How do you react? What do you do if a client cannot pay you? All right? Each of these questions has four different answers. And I would like for you to rate how true they feel for you on a scale of one to four, all right? Just use each number once. Make sure you don't write everything as a four, but that you really kind of decide what's the most important thing for you. And then you want to sum up um, the, the answers at the bottom of the page and send me your form and I will read it for you, okay? I will give you a personal session, a personal coaching session so that you can actually understand your, uh, your success profile. Now, let me give you some examples. For example, I have here a profile of a lady who is very successful in her business, who is, has gotten to a very solid place. She's created an amazing program. She is really on some level where she wants to be, but she isn't making any money anyways. She's not making the money that she wants to make. And every time she talks about it, it sounds like she's doing everything right. So her frustration is, what else can I possibly do to make this work? Now, by reading her profile, I could see that her artistic side, her artist, is very well developed. That's why she created a great program. And her business side is right on the mark as well. Okay, So that's what got her. This kind of mindset is what got her to where she wants to be. However, where she was falling short was her teacher side, and her nurse side. So the teacher is the part that systemizes things and the nurse is the part that wants to actually just give to other people, okay? So by looking at this, I could tell her that she wasn't really open to receiving the extra information that she needed. She felt that what she knew in her business was enough and that now automatically money should come in. But what was even more important than that was that her nurse side, the giving side, didn't have a voice. So she wasn't really connected with giving. She wasn't really connected with sharing. She had this amazing program, but she couldn't actually take it into the heart of her clients because whenever she talked about it, she didn't come across as, as um, caring. And as we started talking about this, we realized that there were some very specific things, some very specific memories and beliefs that she needed to release. She needed to release in order to step up, in order to be not be defensive or not be argumentative for the client, but actually find that warmth in her heart that would allow her to sell her program. Okay, so she could actually come up with a strategy that really worked for her 
And activating that nurse and healing that nurse was very important for her. So you know by now there are four parts to being successful. There is your artist side, which is your creative side. And your artist actually lives for lifestyle. Okay, when you have a really strong artist, you go after bright, shiny objects, you want to have fun, you want to hang out with your friends. And why would you want to have a business if it's not fun to you? Okay, so when you have a very strong teacher side, on the other hand, you are very mission driven. So you want to create products, you want to create services, you want to have certain ways of teaching something, and you probably have the curriculum together. But what I see in my clients that have a strong teacher side is also that whenever they're stuck, they buy another training, right? They always come from this point of, I'm not good enough. I need another certification. I need another coaching. I need another this or that. And they buy every book on the market, but they never really actually monetize. All right. So you see when the teacher is too strong, it actually sabotages your business. The nurse part of you is the part that says, look, for me, success means helping people. Okay, for me, it's not about making money. I need money, but I don't need that much. When I have a good life, I'm helping a lot of people. I get a lot of love and satisfaction from that. And that's ultimately what I want. And you can see already that my nurse clients, the clients of mine that are too strong on their nurse, um, they just don't make money. They volunteer everywhere. They are very loved and very respected for that, but they're not making money. They probably don't even get referrals for paying clients because people think they're happy without. And what I found is that very often their mindset is that they just don't need enough. They don't need enough, uh, a, a lot. They just need a little bit. You know, the car is still running, the clothes still fit. They don't go out for lunches and dinners. And so instead of making more and actually building their business, they start to play small and try to fit into an even smaller mold. And I found that this part of us that nurse part of us that we all have is very often based on um, trauma in childhood. It's very often based on a survival skill that we needed to develop early on, which means that we had to take care of somebody else in order to stay safe. Or we had to take care of ourselves in order to stay safe. So the whole idea of taking care and safety is so closely connected that it becomes a part of our business plan. And what I see with my, um, with the business, the people that have a very strong business person, which is that fourth um, archetype, that fourth success part of us that we have, is that um, they are so, begin to be so focused on money that they start to get salesy because they don't bring their heart and soul into their business. They start to focus so much on money that they forget why they are in business. So they lose that vision that caring side of them. Um, they think enough is enough. So they may actually, their products may not be really great unless their teacher side is in balance and says, look, you know, we have to step this up. We have to do better. And for them, it's just not about fun. So very often they don't really enjoy their business. They just say, you know, I'm successful because I have the six or seven or whatever kind of figure business. And on the downside of that, if somebody doesn't have a lot of strength in their business side. They will struggle with money. They will struggle with receiving. They will struggle with charging. You know, there are all these, these difficult things that they have. And what I found is that in order to really help you, in order to really help my clients and people in the coaching and healing field or other solopreneurs that have a um, business that's important to them, not just for money, but really for much more than that, um, in order to really help them, we have to do some understanding of where we're at and what our personal profile actually means and how we can monetize it in a way that feels good to us. And to do this for you, I have very short notice. I'm still flying on the excitement from this, from this uh, event last week. Um, I've decided to teach you this. And I'm going to teach a tailor class on Monday night, this coming Monday night, um, where I will uh, analyze your success profile that you will send back to me, where I teach much more in depth what these four different success styles actually are. And we will do some tapping and I will do some more teaching for you so that you can understand what you need to do in order to get into harmony, in order to get into balance, to feel loved and respected and seen for who you are and really start making money in your business. So please do join me on 
uh, Sunday night at 7 o'clock Eastern. All the information is below and I cannot wait to see you. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you Sunday.